What's going on, everybody? Chad Arms, Chad Arms TV, Chad and Mel, Muck Bang, baby. <laughs> Muck Bang Tuesday, man. Um, we're doing another one shot, um, another like um, mom and pop place, like a, a local place to us. It's called Douglas and Company. They do like a meet and three thing. So, um, shout out to Amber Lamps. Yes, that's. Um, today, uh, I know on the last mukbang we promised you that the kids were going to be with us and we were going to go to KFC, but apparently there's crystal. a, f or yeah, crystal. Yeah. Um, there's a fucking eclipse today, um, which I'll see this tomorrow and, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, people are out. The amount of traffic is ridiculous right now. Like, and, and we and don't a small town. we don't live. You know, I had to travel uh, a little bit out of the way because um, my kids, you know, they were flying by the seat of their pants as they normally do, and they were going to uh, somewhere up north so that they could see the eclipse and the totality area or whatever. And I said, "Do y'all have glasses?" And they said, "No." And I was like, "Oh." They said, well, we'll just stop and get some. And I'm like, well, they're selling them for like $40 and $50 a pop. And uh, they were like, oh. And I was like, well, I had some old ones, which after I made the decision to meet them, I ended up finding out that the older ones from 2017, you're not supposed to use them after three years or some shit. I don't know. But either way, that's what they got. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. So, um interstates parking lot people are already parked at gas stations around the interstate they're out in their car they're looking up and i'm like holy shit you know what are y'all looking at who gives i mean there's there's clouds there's a lot of clouds out today so i don't you know the sun's out the sun has popped out but you know it's whatever it is what it is so um we just made a decision to stop there's a little spot um, out close to us, um, it's called Douglas, um, I don't think it's Amico anymore, it's Shell, but, um, Douglas Market, it's a gas station, but they have, like, a meet and three eatery, like, in there, um, uh, we're gonna go in and order our food and then come back and show y'all, it's like home cooking, you know, so... We figured we'd just stop, do this one today. We're going to link up with the kids another day um, when we go purchase Timberly's car. So, um, I think that's Wednesday morning. So, maybe we'll be able to film something with them and have that for the next week. But, we'll see. We'll be back. Yeah. Well, you made it back. <laughs> yeah, that was that place was crazy busy, man. She fucking, the girl that came in with the sides to give us all the food, she came in a little hot, bro. <laughs> she threw my shit at me. I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I was talking to somebody. Somebody come up to us, to us a supporter of ours. Saw oh, us Heather. Here. Yeah, Heather. Shout out to Heather. And, uh, yeah, she didn't give a fuck about any of that. She said, what else do you want? I was like, oh, shit. Uh. I want peace, not war. <laughs> Man, this shit is. Just set it right here. It'll be fine. Here, set it right there. So yeah, this is a little meat and three action. Here. We get. I went with the fried chicken, mashed mashed potatoes, gravy, mac and cheese, and fried apples. I just got four drumsticks just because it's going to be easier to eat them than eating fried chicken with my hands. It's easy to eat a drumstick, you know what I mean? And wait till y'all see this piece of country fried steak that my lady got. It is, it looks fire, son. Oh, she's just going to pick that some bitch up. Look at that. <laughs> she didn't get no gravy on it, so she could just pick that thing up. And she got mashed potatoes uh, with no gravy. And she got, show me potato salad. No, pasta, I mean, uh, coleslaw. Oh, coleslaw, sorry. So. Um, so, and then we got mac and cheese. Oh, and here. then they have fresh, they, I guess they make the Louisiana. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Okay. I got sweet cornbread. Check out roll. Yeah, I got roll. I love some fried apples, boy. Hey, ma'am. Yep. That lady must wrap them around me. They got the white gravy. Yeah, it's in that. Um, that's not cornbread. Oh. Yeah, I just went and got went with these. I almost wanted to get the country fried steak, but I was like, no, nah, she's getting that. I'll get some. I was going to get this or chicken strips. The dumplings look good. They had chicken and dumplings. Mm hmm. I'm not a fan of white gravy, though. I'm not really either. I just don't like biscuits and gravy. But. I just assumed the gravy that was going on the taters was brown gravy. And she had already put it on there, so I was like, all right, cool. That's some good fried chicken. Um, it doesn't top gu our Guthrie spot, but it's dope, though. You good? You want to try it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Tender. Super tender. That's how gangster mail is. She just picks that some bitch up. That's pretty good. I did get some uh, ketchup so it didn't look like a psychopath. Eating shit all dry and stuff. Yeah. But they had A1 sauce, so I would've got that, so. These apples are fire, boy. Chad likes his apples real cinnamony. Which is weird because I really don't like sweets, like to that extent. Cinnamon's not sweet though. It is. Yeah. Well, the apples are sweet. Whatever the apples, are, whatever's in them. And they put this mac and cheese in this little bitty thing and it's just all over the place. She chucked this motherfucker at me like a damn hockey puck. Let's <laughs> see how far my kids have made it. That's that homemade mac and cheese too, son. That shit's good, boy. Uh. Mm. Yeah, that shit's good. Yeah, this is a spot. <clears throat> it's literally a gas station, but they've got a whole a full restaurant in this mm -hmm. place and this place is booming all the time man every time we they drive make, by they here, make their money everywhere. off of this food not their not everything else like we were just we i mean there was eight people in front of us in line you know and they do like daily specials yeah. and stuff they haven't even got to clarksville yet or they're on the outskirts of clarksville yeah they ain't gonna make it Some good fried chicken, son. Mm. I gotta say, fried chicken. I think drumsticks are my favorite thing. Really? Yeah. Just it's so it's just easy to eat. It's just eating a breast or. That is serious. And why do you have mac and cheese in your beard? Because that, that, that shit is everywhere. I can't. I don't even, <laughs> where is it at? And it's, your beard is below your chin. Go chin down. There. Nope. Yeah, I, I can't even. Shout out to the mac and cheese. Maybe next time some mac and macaroni with it would be good. Would be good. Oh God! I wouldn't be acting like that if she wasn't throwing shit at me. She threw shit at me twice. And it's probably because I was holding up her line. She didn't know she was dealing with a superstar. <laughs> oh my God, Trigger Man in there too. Mm-hmm. 
Go. But yeah, as far as the chicken goes, the fried chicken, I mean, I love a breast and a thigh too, but it's just so, it's such a process eating through the, like that, eating through them. Yeah. Yeah. Good mashed taters and gravy too. So on that tea, how sweet is it? You said serious. Pretty sweet. It would be one that I would buy. Definitely. I don't like the pre-made like Lipton's and shit like that. Oh, they made this? Uh-huh. That's real tea. Yeah. That's good. It's not too sweet either. But yeah, we um we almost went to KFC. I still want to go do a KFC one because I want to try those new uh, tossed wings. Or toss a chicken. I had them on Saturday. That worked. And honestly, too, I'm a much bigger KFC fan than Mel is. You like it, but you don't really, you're not a big KFC fan. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of, it's not even really, it's out of like the popular stage now, but I still want to do it. Those little pizza puffs from uh, Little Caesars. Oh, yeah. I haven't said they're delicious. I love Little Caesars. I know I'm going to like them. What's y'all's favorite part of fried chicken? What's y'all's favorite part to eat? The leg? The wing, the breast, or the thigh? The top's gonna fall on your lap. <clears throat> yeah, for meat and three, this place is legit. This is actually our first meat and three mukbang. Try to steer away from the places that don't have a drive through, but I mean, places like this, you can't, you have to go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna try to film some in there, but it was way too crowded. And it was the, the, the glass cases that everything was in, like, was fogged up, you couldn't even see it. Yeah. We walked in, Chad said, holy shit. So much was packed, boy. Old people for as far as you can see. Mm -hmm. So like, today, the meat choices was frog legs, fried chicken, chicken and dumplings, beefy mac, country fried steak, chicken tenders. I think it's it. Well, everything that you just named, I think, was a special for today, except for the chicken tenders, because they serve that every day. And the chicken. Yeah, and the fried chicken. I guarantee they do that, because that's what they sell more than anything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I want barbecue. I think you get barbecue, too. Yeah. If they could have... They have standard sides every day. Mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, um, baked beans, white beans, coleslaw, potato salad. They have shit like that like every day. And then 
various times throughout the week. Today's, they'll have Fried apples are so good, man. So like tomorrow, it's pork chops, chicken livers, squash casserole, black eyed peas, whole kernel corn, um, those are part of the specials. And then Wednesday is meatloaf, turkey and dressing, sweet potato casserole, cabbage, and all the regular stuff. And then on Thursday is roast beef, salmon patties, uh, sauerkraut weenies, sweet corn, uh, okra, pinto beans. And then on Friday, Friday is the main staple for the meat in three places. They always have catfish. It's so, always like a Friday thing at these places, I've noticed. Yeah. Uh, on Friday is spare ribs, baby back ribs, catfish, barbecue chicken halves, um, fried potatoes with onions, uh, corn on somewhere. the cob, and then all their normal shit, fried okra. And then on Saturday, you can get spare ribs, baby back ribs, barbecue brisket, smoked wings, hot wings, cabbage, hash brown casserole, Corn nuggets. Yeah. <clears throat> so. So. Definitely not coming on Tuesdays. Well, what's on Tuesday? I forgot. Chicken livers and oh, yeah. fucking. Pork chop. I have to say, their sweet cornbread is not sweet. Yeah. Well. They must have got that I'm shit mixed up. I'm filing a complaint. Are you? That's false advertisement. I think we're entitled to some money. Don't you, don't you have people that are like that's what they that's what they set out to do every day is to try to like save people. That's one of the workers right there. You want to interview her? How long does it take you to prepare all that damn food? I'll tell you one thing. That um that mac and cheese is serious mac and cheese boy um yeah it's cool to it's cool to shine light on places like this not that they need light shined on it I'm just saying from a standpoint of you know it not being a chain restaurant and anybody that's around this area probably is, is aware of it. Mm -hmm. It's been doing that. They've been doing this for years. What I would like is I would like to know, do they do breakfast? Because I bet their yeah. breakfast is fucking fire. They do. Breakfast is good. Oh, I'm doing breakfast, mukbang. Mm. I ain't done one of them at all. And there's twice as many old people out here in the morning. Yeah. Because all the men like going to their construction jobs and shit. They're all meeting up out here. And the reason why I know that is because my Uncle Billy comes out here every day. <laughs> Shout out, Uncle Billy. Yeah, this, um, this Eclipse stuff is wild, man. Mm-hmm. I don't see... I've seen, you know, like... I was looking up at the sky in 2017 when that one happened, you know. I was delivering tires. I remember I was delivering to a tire place right while it was happening. And then I left. And as I was driving back, it was my last delivery of the day. It was like three something. And I just was driving. And as I was driving through town, it just slowly got dark. Completely dark. Did you have any idea or were you like shocked? Don't no, I knew about it because I mean, everybody at work was talking about it. I didn't care nothing about any of it, but you know what I mean? But I knew about it. Especially since I knew I was working. So I was like, well, it ain't going. But 
Sure enough, man. I was driving back from dropping that last set of tires off at this place. And it just slowly got dark. And then it just slowly didn't. Just came back right back. I was like, holy mm -hmm. crap. By the time I got back to the shop, it was light again. Mm -hmm. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. But the way they talk, I don't, I only know what, what you tell me because you, you pay attention to it more than I do. But where we're at, we're not, supposedly not going to see, see Especially it or something. Especially a partial. But it's overcast already today, so. Like it could be happening right now. And I, you know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I think full totality is supposed to be about two o'clock. I don't know. Shout out totality. Yeah. Never heard that word before in my life until this fucking shit came about. We never use that word in a sense. No. Yeah, the gangster move to do with that. Sandwich. You get you that country fried steak, put it in between them cornbread. Oh lordy, I'm a sandwich making some bitch. S M S O B. Sandwich making son of. Uh, yeah, you got weird shit going on in that. Uh, uh. Y'all know what? Y'all get the gist of it. Damn it! Shout out to y'all, man. We hit eighty-five thousand subscribers a couple days ago, man. Moving closer and closer to that 100K. Super excited about it, man. Appreciate y'all's support. We're going to get there, Dead Gummy. We got a lot of cool stuff in the works. You know, new music, new content. Um, all that good stuff. So, appreciate y'all for helping us hit 85,000. There was only one dessert. Uh, banana pudding, which we didn't get. But that was all that they had for dessert, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I think they had cobbler or something right there. Shout out cobbler. Do you do you like cobbler? I I could eat a cherry or a peach. I'm not a fan of like cooked fruit. You know, so I don't eat apples. Yeah. Do they do apple cobbler? I'm sure. It's called something else, isn't it? A pie. Is that all cobbler is? <clears throat> Top 10 cobblers. I have no idea. I don't I know. I was, I was just joking. Shout out to the movie Adam Sandler was in called The Cobbler. That was a thing? Yeah. He was like something to do with shoot. I never saw it. It just didn't look like it was going to be any good, but it may be. Next time I come here, I just want to play the sides. Yeah. I don't care. I like meat. You really don't. You and my mom are very similar. My mom is the same way. Y'all can cook any kind of meat and it cook it so good. But y'all hardly ever eat any of it. That's how my mama was my whole life. Like, you know, growing up and everything. All through my life. My mama... And you're the same way most of the time. Like, you'll cook. And you won't, you'll mainly just eat the sides and not... You know. Like. I ate a tub of coleslaw. Before I ate a steak. Yeah. Yeah. I, however, will do. Well, I wouldn't need a tub of coleslaw. I don't think if somebody paid me $100,000. Well, that's stupid. No, it's, I stand on my business. $100,000, I probably would eat a tub of well, How much is a tub? Like a bathtub? I can't physically eat that much. Nobody can. So what's a tub? Like, just like... Yeah. For a hundred stacks, I'll hate every minute of it, but I'll probably throw up too, but I'll, I'll do it for a hundred thousand. So... Would you eat a very generous helping of peach cobbler for a hundred thousand dollars? Negative. Why? For $100,000, you wouldn't eat a portion of peach cobbler. Mm -mm. And you were trying to get on me for not wanting to eat coleslaw for $100,000. <laughs> oh, dude. Your your hatred for pickles is my hatred for peaches. Okay, well. I, I mean, they are yeah. like this. Yeah, I get it. I think that's the girl that hollered at you. No, it's not. I remember the girl that hollered at me with that one. Girl hollering at me 
looked very angry in the face. She was, <laughs> so, uh, overall, what are you thinking, babe? Everything's good? That's the one that hollered at me. That's the one that threw my, that's 100% the one that threw my food at me. Mm. You want to know what? But salute to her. When she comes to our restaurant, I holler at her. Well, that's probably why I got thrown <laughs> at. She recognized you and y'all got past beef that I didn't know about. <laughs> and I'm the bystander that got hit with a stray bullet. It's all good. Hey, we love y'all, man. This has been fire. Um, you know, like I said, I got the fried chicken. It was great. Sides are great. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, uh, fried apples. She got coleslaw. Um, if y'all love meat and three and y'all are in this area, y'all probably already know about it. But if you're passing through, it's Douglas and Company. Right on the outskirts of Springfield. Yeah, right on the outskirts of Springfield, Tennessee. And, um, yeah, y'all check it out, man. This is our first meet in three, Muck Bang. I'm not sure what we're going to do next week, but we'll just kind of. Fun fact that that, that lady drives an orange Jeep. She always yeah. wears an orange shirt and she always orders orange chicken. What do you think her favorite color is? Green. <coughs> what if that was a plot twist that she had? Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, she's. It was her invite, Shyamalan. She's uber obsessed with orange. Well, most people in Tennessee are, unfortunately. Not I. We need to film me, like I just sitting in the middle of town. And I'd be like, yeah, that person. They do this, this, this. Drive this, this, this. Just doxing all these customers <laughs> that come through. <laughs> she's uh, a nice lady. She yeah. is, but I have. She's and she's a regular. And I know when I see the orange Jeep pull up, I know that she's going to be wearing an orange shirt and she's going to order orange chicken. Yep. And she's got Tennessee balls stuff hanging from her rear view mirror. Gang, gang. Hell yeah. I'm so glad they changed this. Used to, their macaroni and cheese was dog shit. See, that's what worries me in places because it's, if it's that damn powdered super orange macaroni i don't want any part of that shit Fuck no it was it was it was this but it was real watery and like white yeah larry's larry's is like yeah i don't like that macaroni and cheese shout out larry's good do better on but mac I, and cheese larry's when it comes to meeting threes places like this it is alarming to me that they do not have green beans as a side I love green beans. Yeah, green beans are good. I don't like the really, the super green ones though. You know what I'm talking about? The, the French style, I think, or whatever they are. No. They taste like grass. They don't taste. Fresh uh, they, ones. Yeah. Is it fresh? Is it mm -hmm. like the. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd rather have the canned ones, I guess. That sounds stupid, but. You can eat fresh ones. They just gotta be done right. You can't fucking blanch them and. I mean, some people like their vegetables crunchy. Shout out Crunchy Veggies. What's the name of the new album? Hmm. Wait for this old lady to hit my car with her door. She's not going to. Jump See out and start hollering at her, give her a heart attack. Well, you feel bad now? She Both times she didn't even hit it. She made it a point to not hit the car. She but did good. She did good. Yep. She might, they may have hit us backing up, but I mean. <laughs> Hell yeah, ma'am. Well, that was Douglas and Company, main three spot, a gas station. Some people frown on eating food at a gas station, but you know, hey. This is not gas station food, I promise you. It's in, it's mixed in with no, the no, gas no. station. No, this, no, this is the type of food that they were talking about, and it was like a whole big thing on Facebook. And everybody was like, shit, you ain't from where we're from. The best food you get from gas station. But a lot of people are probably referring to gas station food is like the taquitos and the hot dogs and the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like the stuff that sits under that damn, that's not what this is. This is literally like going to a meet and three spot. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it just happens to be inside of a gas station. And they're, yeah, they're, they're eatery people are totally different from their yeah, it's just, gas just, station service attendants. Yeah, so this ain't, this ain't no gas station food like what y'all probably used There's to. There's not no like mix. The biscuits and the tin foil and <laughs> shit. And I, I ain't gonna knock a gas station biscuit now. Some places got some good gas station biscuits, but 
yeah y'all be sure to check them out if y'all are close if y'all ain't ever had it before douglas and company man good meat and three spot and um yeah man y'all be sure to subscribe you subscribe subscribe to the channel be sure to like comment below let us know what y'all's favorite meat and three spots are um if you've had this place let us know what y'all think of it and just keep supporting us we'll keep supporting y'all man we love y'all man Deuces. Deuces.